Justice takes time. Uh, whenever things are being done that's not appropriate, that people should step forward and speak up. If somebody is doing something that they should not be doing, my viewpoint is that uh, um, step measures need to be taken to help correct it. It's important to fight even if it seems hopeless. It is so important to fight because that one fight might be the win that we needed. Now city leaders are wondering what will happen now that the Supreme Court ruled in favor of African Americans who sued the city over its firefighter test. They say a hiring test used by the city was discriminatory. Well, I had represented the African American firefighters for many years, and a group of them had come to talk to me uh, after the city announced the results of the 1995 entrance examination. My name is uh, Judd Minor. I am the lawyer who uh, initially filed this lawsuit back in 1996. All right, so what was discriminatory about this test? The test was discriminatory in that it was used in a manner that favored whites over black applicants. I was upset. You know, I felt like at that time I was more than just qualified. I knew the job. I did it. I was in great shape. And I didn't understand why I was just qualified. The hiring process, I mean, it was just so lopsided. Um, a lot of statistics was coming out at that time and, you know, academy may have, say for example, 189 cadets and maybe six would be uh, African American. This isn't about affirmative action. This is about removing a barrier that kept fully qualified people from getting into the fire department. In many cases, and, and this may well be one of those, um, it was really benign neglect. The, the tragedy is that making sure that the system operated fairly was not high on the city's radar. And rather than step back and say, well, what can we do about this? This is unfair. This shouldn't happen in 1995 in the city of Chicago. And notwithstanding the fact that there are an arsenal of tools available to them to have remedied the problem promptly without creating this kind of fight. You have young people who look up to us and they want to be like us if they see us. So I think it's, it's really very, very important that we do make it inclusive because sometimes in different communities, we understand our communities a lot better and the issues that we deal with in the communities because we have so many issues in our community now with like homelessness, violence, and uh, lack of housing, lack of jobs. If we make this where it's inclusive, other people have hope and we can build communities back up from where they used to be. But after so much amount of time had passed, you have friends and family telling you to give it up. It really took a lot of courage because we felt like it was over and our only chance was to take it to the Supreme Court. Thank God they, had, they wanted to hear what we had to say. We were always optimistic that our chances in the Supreme Court were good. Um, but until you get that decision, there's a, a lot of anxiety. In the, the, unfortunately, the going all the way to the Supreme Court just delayed the final resolution. We had kind of expected um, the final chapter to be written by the Supreme Court. When I heard the su Supreme Court decision on our case, I was actually in the firehouse and I was working. And I started jumping up and down screaming. I was talking to Josh Karsh and I was screaming, oh, happy day, oh, happy day. I could not believe it. It was like I won the lottery, okay? I was just so happy. And everybody's looking at me. They're like, what happened, what happened? I said, we won the lawsuit. Can you believe it, we won. You know how sometimes some people, sometimes you get made an example for standing up, but I sort of figure that this is an opportunity to make sure that things are done right. And even if I don't get a chance to be a fireman, at least my children or my, my godson or anybody else who wants to be a firefighter here in Chicago can really have that opportunity. People who watch this video and, and hear about the case understand that no one's looking for a handout. We just wanted a fair chance. I'm really grateful to the lawyers for civil rights under the law for what they've done for us for all these years. They have no idea. Those of us, myself, Nick Russell, Greg Box, and uh, we're just really, really in awe. And we appreciate them for what they've done, giving back to us. Because so many people shut their doors, they open their doors for us.